All right, welcome back to the Root BSD channel. Today I'm going to sh uh, show you guys something really cool, how to pimp out your Xeno DM setup. That's right. Let's get our X Display Manager looking nice and sexy. So first thing, uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is just make some quick changes in, in your configs. Now I have posted the change the config files to my uh, not above repository. Uh, you'll find them in this desktop folder. It's going to be my desktop configs. The rest are for my laptop, but they'll work on the desktop too. So on my on this one, I, I included uh, my Radeon config. In case you guys are using a Radeon device, here's a nice config to get your Radeon up and running snappy. And uh, so what it is is that in your etc. x11 folder, you're going to find your Xeno DM and... Uh, here, I'll show you here. Actually. So it's gonna be etc. x eleven dot Xeno DM. Now you can cop you can copy these these files over or if you're if you're nervous about doing that, you can just make the changes manually. The first file that I edited was called the X setup zero. Okay, so the X setup zero, what you want to do is just clear everything out. Now, I'm using an image uh, wallpaper program called Faye. Faye. I've always loved Faye. I've always been a Faye user. Nobody's going to convince me to stop using Faye. You can just use uh, Faye or X wallpaper or whatever background uh, uh, program. It will work. Um, I just do recommend that you put the full path in here because it hasn't fully initialized uh, uh, your path yet because you haven't logged in. So it's probably a good idea to, to put this in here. It Usually most of your third-party programs in OpenBSD are going to be under user local bin. So uh, with Faye, you just use the BG fill flag. And then I just pointed it to a JPEG in my home directory. And that and that picture is included in uh, on my repo if you, if you want to use that background. Or you could use any other background. All right. And then the next file that you edit is called your X resources. Now the X resources, I kind of just, uh, it, I kind of just did trial and error just to figure out which which values mean what. So uh, these ones titled red were are going to be the text in the box, and I got rid of a greeting. You can put a greeting in there if you want. I got rid of the greeting. I, I wanted to keep it really nice and simple. And um, yeah, just go on my repo and you can just take a look at this and make modifications based on uh, how you want it. You don't have to do it exactly like mine, even though mine looks pretty cool. And you can just play around with this file. Uh, I commented all this out so there, that you're just going to have a plain text box in the middle of the screen and then a background. Really super simple. And also, uh, if you also, just really quick, the music in the beginning. I bought this for $5 off itch.io. Uh, you can find free music loop bundles. This one is by Abstraction Music. Pretty neat. Provided me with tons of loops. I mean, I got I got at least like 60 loops for five bucks. Great deal. It's under the Creative Commons license uh, four. All you have to do is just do proper attribution in the description of your videos and you can use it in your video games or whatever projects you guys want to use. I highly recommend this. Uh, go on itch.io. There's tons of these free music loop bundles. And check out Abstraction Music. I was really impressed. It was, it was some good stuff. But back to uh, uh, this right here. Um, also, if you go on to my, my, my repository, we'll go back here. If you go to the etc. folder, x11, XenoDM, here is the, uh, the configuration for my laptop uh, XenoDM setup. All right? And uh, it's really super simple. I mean, there's not really much I could show you. Literally just edit your configs and point it to the, to the picture that you want to use. I think with this one, uh, I have the picture being referred to right here under user, uh, et cetera, X11, XenoDM pick snaps, the first one. And you can, you can comment these out right here, but it just points to an XPM in the uh, PixMaps folder, which is also, that XPM is included 
in the repo right here. It's called itsalive.xpm. And XPMs are, uh, they actually come out like this when you look them up. It's pretty neat. All right. So that's it. That's how you, you rice out your, uh, your, your Xeno DM. It's really easy. And let's, let's take a look at these, uh, these nice Xeno DM setups. Here we go.